Okay, Moose and Spiel. Moose and Spiel. So, the audience may be wondering why this says January 2nd, 2016. Yeah. Well, that's because I was originally playing this during Christmas time with my buddy Joey back in Houston. We didn't finish it. Yeah. Well, now, Colin, as you are the finisher, <laughs> we're calling you the, the game finisher. You will be. You're, I gave you homework to play up until the Cliffs of Madness, uh-huh. and now we're continuing the same file. So this, for all I know, this video could come out in 2017, yeah. January, or uh, not even January 2017, um, December 2017. <laughs> so, but let's finish this game. I'm excited. All right, let's play. And I bet you're excited to actually finish the game yourself. Yeah. Well, I see where this goes. Yeah, uh, Cliffs of, Cliffs of Matt, there isn't much left to the game. Yeah. But, uh... The much like the era, the end game is where all the plots is finally yeah. revealed and solved. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, remember yeah, strange. remember the controls. It's. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's only been a year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think it's R two. R two. Yeah. Open the chests. You got it. Awesome. What does this say? Cliffs of Madness live before you. There you go. A maze with no true way out. If I may, the cruel, uncaring gods. Half of Vegas, blah, blah, blah. So what do you like about God of War so far? I love the... I like the combat. It's very frenetic. I like all the, the wide reach of the Blades of Chaos and the, all the different moves you can do. Right. There you go. Look at you getting secrets. Yeah. Yeah, then upgrade orbs. So when this game first came out, my buddy Joey and I just fell in love with the game. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> what we would do, um, especially the summer before we entered high school, yeah. Uh, all we did was hang out and play video games. FIFA was a big one. Oh yeah, for us. But God of War, Ooh. the God of War games, um, Devil May Cry, and Devil May Cry Three. Uh, we tried to beat, but there's we, we were so bad at him, we, we had to use the infinite health, and that was the only way we were able to, to play the game. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil, like, all we did was hang out and play PS2, pretty much. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At his family's place, they had all the other systems, but we never really hung out there, because he oh, comes yeah. from a big family. Yeah, yeah. Well, I do not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I... Don't really have. Well, my mom's family is big, but they live out in Alberta. So. Oh yeah, brutal, brutal kills. So up until this point in the game, what was your favorite section? Uh, been a while. It's been what a couple months? Uh, probably like four months at least since that. Really? Playing Freedom huh. Wars a lot. Ah, so. oh, Freedom Wars, yes. Good game. Yeah, very addicting. I just uh, I just started that myself, pretty much. Uh-oh. Um, Let me see what the... Yeah, Blades this are. is what we have. We maxed out our Blades of Chaos, and then that was it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess next up, maybe... Probably Zeus's Fury. Hey, if that's what you want. It's all up to you. Well, we don't have enough orbs at the moment, so... Nope. You can tell You can tell how we decided to play this game. Yeah. Whoop. Oh, don't you fall. Falling bad. Oh, I'm sure there was uh, an evade move. Oh, wrong one. Oops. What are you doing, Colin? The evade move is the right analog stick. Yeah. All the so what were what were the uh, what did you upgrade when you were playing? I uh, mainly the blades of chaos, but I also did you max them out? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here's here's all the crazy moves. Um, the gods. Oh yeah. For, yeah, yeah. Click both the. Yep. I liked uh, my favorite is the one where he um, powers up in midair and slams the blades into the ground. 
Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, Blade of Artemis. Yeah, which we haven't really done anything with. Yeah. Oh. I sometimes like using that to clear out bigger oops, enemies. Oops, small enemies. Ooh. Yeah. Way to skin the cat. Yeah. So before this, I showed you uh, Dark Souls no. on Steam, playing yeah, with the Steam controller. Yeah, it what? was definitely a different experience. What did you think? PS3. Well, like I said, uh, I think I prefer the PS3 way, but then again, it's what I'm used to. It's, uh, I hate these sections. Yeah. I hate them so much. Although that looks pretty uh, sweet. I don't think we're going to end up... Of course you will. You're on a rope. Not at this particular second, I don't think. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I had some good ra Rage of the Gods moments in uh, oh, yeah. playing that, where they just constantly... They're, they're just hanging from my ankles, and I can't get out of that situation. Oh, these guys suck. You gotta, you gotta block them, man. can't remember how. I think it's L1? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, that's switching to the big blade. Well, there you go. Oh, you're gonna uh -oh, die, man. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You were you were dead. Deadsies. Oh. Oh, I think it's L1 and R1 that switched the oh, Yeah. I see. But isn't I swear, isn't um isn't blocking ah! L1? Yeah. Just by I, itself? Yeah. I you just, time it? I just discovered, yeah. It's like I knew Oh there, there was you a go. Way. You start right here with like no health. I was like, I knew there was a way that I countered those moves before, but I couldn't remember for the life of me what it was. Yeah, I, I guess uh, I think the Batman Arkham games might have taken some cues from that. You know, you have like the counter moves. Ha! <laughs> Off the cliff. Let's see. I played, or I have, um, Arkham City. I right. yeah, then, I have both Asylum and City. I never played Asylum, and I'm not really too into getting. Um, the PS4 one that came out, Arkham Knight. Oh yeah. Yeah, Arkham Knight. Not into that. Word. Oh no. Good job using Hades. No. <laughs> he will help me spin this lever. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> the ghost just. We're going up, I guess. Yay. Hey, <laughs> save point. Cool. Sweet. Save that shit. Update the game so people can see when what day it is. Yeah. So we. We ended this January 2nd, 2016, and it's... Now... Uh... Ah... Uh, it is... November, November 5th, 2016. <laughs> little, little time has passed. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't, I didn't see any time pass. I didn't see any time pass. Uh, I, I, I guarantee no one's going to watch this far, so who cares? <laughs> Too bad for them. It's more for our own entertainment. Basically. <laughs> yeah, but back to Dark Souls on Steam. Yes. What did you like about the first Dark Souls game? It was uh, very challenging. Definitely liked the way you leveled up in the boss fights. Hey, I'll need it. <laughs> I mean, sure, boss fights could be pretty hard as hell, but it's hard to talk and play at the same time. So, so I've I only played the first like half hour, uh, uh, just trying to, because I've been I've I've played the PS3 Dark Souls games one and two, and I just didn't like the way they felt. I've said this before, and uh, while we were playing Dark Souls three, I was never a fan. Hmm. Um, controls were clunky. I thought for a PS3 game it looked like shit. Hmm. You know, I, I thought I thought it could have looked a lot better. Yeah, that, that is true. I thought the graphics were a little clunky. They looked like PS2 game. It looked like a PS2 game. Yeah, but given the amount of content in it, it was. Well, I know. Kind of had to. I don't know. I know a few, I, uh, few corners with some graphics at least. I'm, just, I'm the way I looked at it was there was no there was no excuse for Gorgonite. how bad it looked. Plus the, the clunky controls, I'm just like, this is impossible. Hmm. I mean, if I want to play a game with clunky controls, 
At least I'm going to play Resident Evil. Yeah, yeah. So I think you got to destroy the statue. Hmm. Maybe? Or you jump up on the wall? I'm trying to remember. I remember. No. Man, it's loud above there, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, we are playing at Colin's place. Yes, we are. Yay! Which means we'll be playing Jack 3 later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the spiritual successor to Naughty Di or, uh, Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> well, yeah, the Jack and Daxter games are, for sure. What is this? How do I even... So I don't think this is a thing. Go back. Yeah. I'll, uh, do a little backtracking. But, um, so, oh. Steam, Steam oh. Sale... This dude's still alive. Oh, there you go. Oh, there's a dude down there. Trying to shoot me. So Steam Sale, you know, um... I saw Dark Souls was really cheap. I think it was like 3 or $4 or something. So I'm All like, ah, right. oh, whatever. I'll give, it an, I'll give it a try, since I like Dark Souls 3 so much. Arguably my favorite PS4 game. Oh, yeah. For sure. Uh, that's... That remains to be seen, since... Uh, I haven't played Rise of the Tomb Raider yet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking forward to. Oh, <laughs> and then ending with ending ending the the game with the VR. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be sick. Oh. yeah. You're supposed to go in here. It's like it. Hello, who are you? So what the Steam controller allows you to do um, for ah, most for sides. most. Oh, I remember this guy. Yeah, they suck. Side staff, not not fun. Not fun. Um, the Steam controller allows you to to set up. Ah. Set up the game controls, uh, replacing what would be Ooh. mouse and keyboard. Yeah. So, for those who don't know what the Steam controller looks like, Ooh. essentially it's two circle pads. The one on the one on the left above the left analog stick is a D-pad, which you don't really use, and then the circle pad on the right uh, functions as a mouse would. You move around with your thumb. That is, that's what takes. Some, some getting used to. Yeah. You're moving a camera as you would as much as your thumb. And you can up the sensitivity more. Yeah. So you can move it, move the camera faster and whatnot. Yeah. So yeah. if you want to play a shooter, you can do that. Yeah, that would definitely help. We're going to noob this, guys. So it, it took a little bit to set it up, but the good thing now is because now it's been out a while, uh, for a lot of games, you can go to... You can choose your configuration in which someone has uploaded their configuration on Steam. So that makes it so much easier. So my first experience playing Dark Souls is, uh, because it's the Prepare to Die edition, I guess it's been up updated? Yeah. With better graphics. graphics. It looks so much better. It really does. It looks on par with Dark Souls 3. I see, like, come on. Come on. Don't, don't Almost. Even, don't even go there. It's not... It's... It looks better than God of War. <laughs> yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay? It, lo it actually looks like something on the PS3 now. Yeah, yeah. But we're playing on, on, we're playing on a computer. It's on Steam. Mm -hmm. So, ah, I'm playing the game. I'm, like, testing the controls out. You know, I'm increasing the sensitivity so the camera will move. But a game like Dark Souls, you don't really need to control the camera too much. So I was like, okay, this is, this is pretty good. Yeah. Right? And also, though with God of War, you don't control the camera at all. Then again, it's a PS2 game, so. Right. Can you control the camera in God of War 2? Probably not. I, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think you control it in any of them, actually. Uh, oh, no! Yeah, no. they move, and you gotta time it, buddy. And it goes pretty quick. It dies! You, di you dead. No! You are dead. Thanks for reminding me, game. Taking cues from Resident Evil, I take it. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy again. Fun stuff. Yeah, kick his ass, man. Although this time I'm remembering to block. There you go. Yeah, blocking is very important. So, my first... To come to the conclusion of Dark Souls 1, with Steam, through Steam and the Steam Controller, I do like it. Yeah. I am... Sold on the game, right. um, but I will say I still do not like uh, what was put out on consoles first. Oh yeah, 
the controls were just way too clunky, and I just couldn't couldn't deal with it. it the game didn't feel fast enough. Oh yeah, yeah, understandable. Like Ooh. even even the do even the dodge mechanic. Um, yeah, it didn't always work. Well, in this one, it it does. Yeah. And with the and the fact that I can play it with a controller. That's to say, it didn't always keep you from getting hit. At least from my experience. Yeah, if you were, like, right in the path, that you were still getting hit dodging or not. Yeah. Which I'm actually okay with. I am? Yeah. It, you know, if you dodge in Dark Souls 3, um, nothing nothing hits you. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Most of the time. It, it all depends. Right? Die, die. <laughs> Take the Thunderbolts of Zeus. Uh... <laughs> Although that reminds me, there is an ability in Dark Souls. I don't remember if it's Dark Souls 1 or Dark Souls 3. Probably both, but you can actually get some lightning bolts that you hold in your hand and throw. That's probably the first one. Most likely. Yeah. So I remember the... Uh... So I believe it's just going to go around, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm a fan. I'm going to play Dark Souls 1 in my, uh, in my free time. You know, I might might bring my uh, laptop with me as I'm traveling, play it in the hotel room. Cool. Why not? Cool. Although I might be uh, playing a lot of Freedom Wars. Yeah, uh, yeah. I want to start playing um, Bravely Default. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe catch up on some Pokemon games. Nice, nice. But, yeah, I'm liking Dark Souls. Hmm. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about, my... My newfound love for the series. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm looking, I'm waiting for the next Steam sale where I can uh, I can get Dark Souls 2 for cheap. Nice. I, I still haven't played that one. Or even... I watched I watched uh, a couple Let's Plays on Dark Souls 2. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So I know... I remember... You gotta block that guy, otherwise yeah. he's, he's gonna ruin your day. There we go. Got to know how he balances like that. <laughs> <laughs> I got to know his ways. <laughs> that Cirque du Soleil stuff. <laughs> guys are so easy to kill. The archers, I don't know. And again, that tends to be the case in a it's lot It's a good of... thing. Yeah. I do remember there's one part in this game where it's ridiculous because a lot of the enemies are those uh, balancing Anubis guys. Oh, shit, yeah. That'll be that'll be a pain. Or would be a pain. Health. <laughs> yeah. Health is priority. Ah. So yeah, I got a I got a I got a bunch of topics to go to go over, and I'm I'm looking forward to continuing playing this game. Yeah. It's definitely a very high octane action. Ooh. Yeah, it's it's nonstop. Pretty much. Just like just like Doom, except not from first person and not with guns. I'm just Ooh. I'm just uh, not into Doom. Everybody, lo I mean, everyone's in a lot of today's gamers are into shooters. Yeah, for sure. I mean, and, and it's not really my primary favorite genre, but if it's done in a certain way, then I enjoy the hell out of it. I mean, I can I can see where the love for Doom comes, but I don't know. I guess uh, I'm more of a fan of Killzone. Oh yeah. Than Doom. Because Killzone is exactly like Doom, except uh, it's more sci-fi, I feel. Instead yeah, of the, the, the demon monster things. That's true, yeah. Instead of that, you got the Hellgast. Yeah. Ah. Although I was, I, after I played 3, I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of done with Killzone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there was, um, there was a PS4 uh, release, and I was like, eh. Didn't really have, a, have too much interest. Because I felt like the third one ended off on a note where it's... It's like, oh, the whole planet's destroyed. Great. That's, that seems like a legit ending. <laughs> Makes sense. Hurry up and kill these guys. Time! Use your, uh... Use your, um, uh, Poseidon power. Left on the D-pad. Yeah, yeah. L2 and tap circle. No, that's a, that's Medusa. What are you doing? There you go. You said left. Oops. Oh, wrong one, wrong well, one. clearly when I said left, I meant right. <laughs> there you go. You got tap circle. Get it. There you go. You got one of them. Come on, kill this guy. Nice try, buddy. God rolls are a wonderful thing. Yeah. 
Ooh. So when I was playing this with Joey, uh, I play. I was playing the entire time. Oh yeah. Yeah. He didn't. Uh, he didn't want to play. Really? Yeah. Just didn't uh, like the. Ah, uh, he's more of a PC gamer. He does have a PS2 and an Xbox One. Oh yeah. He, he, the only reason why he got an Xbox One is to probably spite me. I swear. <laughs> Because, I don't know if you know this about me, but I am not an Xbox fan. <laughs> really? You've never mentioned that. I've never, I've, there's no way. I, I go on PNG's podcast, and my whole, my whole shtick is I just shit on the Xbox. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I saw the, the Magical Chase video, that came out really well. Oh, it did, it was, it's a lot of fun. I kind of want to beat that game. Yeah, it looks like, oh, ah, no! What Attack are you doing? circle, oh, oh, here, come on, circle, dang it. Hit circle, there we go. Now I'm gonna get it right. Are you? Die, die, are you? Die, die, die! <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Check out that, right I think, mouth. blood. Right in the mouth. Okay. Take it deep down the throat. So I think right here's a good place to stop. Yeah, sure. And we'll pick this up next time on Moosenspiel. Sounds good. Later, folks.